Have you ever been stopped in an airport checkpoint because of a specific food or liquid? Well, it definitely did happen to everybody at some point. In today's video, we'll speak about the 9 foods that passengers cannot be taking on an aircraft. Number 9. Water Have you ever been stopped at an airport because you're carrying water? Well, it probably did happen for everyone at least once. The only way that water can pass through the security line is if it's below 3.4 ounces. Some few airports allow you to carry water in with you, as well as you can carry water if you're traveling with a baby. Number 8. Canned Food If you're ready to waste your time in extra screening, then you should carry canned foods in your bag. Canned foods are not allowed in screening due to how it looks in the x-ray section. Almost all airports will double-check your bag when they find canned foods, fearing to find substances inside. So to skip all the headache, don't carry canned foods when traveling. Number 7. Liquids just like water, any type of liquids is not allowed. They should be at least lesser than 3.4 ounces. If more, it'll be taken out. Those liquids do not only include water or coffee, they include jam, maple syrup, honey, vinegar, oil, salsa, gravy, and etc. If any of the liquids is more than 3.4 ounces, it's advised to put it in your checked bag unless you want it to be thrown away. Number 6. Fresh Vegetables and Fruits Carrying fresh produce depends very much on your destination. On domestic flights, a lot of airports allow them. However, when going on a long international flight, fruits and vegetables might be restricted due to the concerns about the invasive plants and pests. Some routes within the United States have limitations. Passengers flying from Puerto Rico, Hawaii, and Virgin Islands to the mainland will definitely face restrictions on bringing in fresh fruits and vegetables. Number 5. Gel Ice Packs Gel packs have rules and regulations as liquids and gels. Surprisingly, if those gel packs in the bag at the time of screening were solid, it would not appear as a gel in the screening. However, if the gel was a bit melted or fully melted, it'll definitely appear in the screening and will follow the requirements as many liquid items on this list. Number 4. Liquid Chocolate Well, liquid chocolate's what we call the chocolate syrup. Just like the previous point we mentioned, any liquids should not exceed the 3.4 ounces. Large quantities of the chocolate syrup will fall under liquids and gel restriction. Number 3. Cooking Spray Carrying cooking spray onto an airplane is a bit weird, but some people might do it. It's prohibited to carry cooking spray in both the checked luggage as well as the carry-on bag. It's because cooking spray falls under the law of pressurized containers, which in high altitudes can explode. Number 2. Soup Soup is liquid, so it does fall under the 3.4 ounce rule. If you're carrying a soup next time, make sure it doesn't exceed 3.4 ounces. Number 1. Dips and Sauces For anybody who loves their dips and carries a lot when traveling, well, you need to be careful because even dips need to be in a specific quantity. The same rule for liquids, which is 3.4 ounces, same goes for dips and sauces. It should not exceed the 3.4 ounce. So next time when traveling, make sure your dips within the specified quantity. This is the end of today's video. Which of these foods did you find the most interesting? Share with us in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn the post notifications on to receive the latest from us. See you in the next one.